Hello, and welcome to episode 7 of the Sega Xmas, where today we're going to be playing Fantastic Dizzy, released in 1993 from Codemasters. Now there is a Mega Drive version of this. Now whether that's a, this is a port or a, well it's not a port, but it's a, um, it's definitely not a port, but it's a sort of, it's the same game, but just different. But this is the seventh Dizzy game. They made a lot of these things. Well, let's get on with it. Daisy has been captured by the evil wizard Zax. Only Dizzy is brave and clever enough to rescue her from a terrible fate. Even the safety of the Yoke Folk's treehouse village. Dizzy says, I'm the greatest adventure. I don't know if this was his greatest adventure, but, um... I don't know. But yeah. Let's go. So these are... The Dizzy games, all of them. Are... Puzzle platformers. So you sort of move from left to right. You pick up your items. Jump around. I think we've got an apple. No. Okay. You can jump here. The aim is to get all the stars, as far as I know. Somehow I need to get that egg. Yeah, I know I need to get this, the key, but I don't have to get the key. That's the menu, I think. Ah, there we go. Alright, so now I've got the Dizzy's door key. Cherry and all the stars, right. Okay, this look this game does point us in a direction. Some of the other ones definitely do not point you in any sort of direction. Or maybe it's just because this is this tutorial. I think I just do that. Yep. Okay. So yeah. Oh hello, what's this? A large strong plank of wood. Okay. You will die one hit. So you got to be careful of everything. What to pick up? Nothing. Oh, this area down here. What's this? for the elevator, for the ground elevator. Okay, cool. Hi there. Some of these characters are friendly. Oh, wait, I guess he's, I can't interact with him. I'm guessing he doesn't want a bit of wood. I guess I can't climb his ladder. Tasty looking cooked chicken. Oh. What happens if I give him the cooked chicken? You don't want the cooked chicken? Okay. So you just got to sort of intuit where to go with these games. Oh god. What? Boop like Pokemon. Fuck. Oh, there's actually damage in this game. Damn. Oh, you bastard. Oh. What if I put down some chicken for him? There we go. Oops. There we go. What's that? A heavy bag of gold coins. Okay. 
I don't want to drop the key. There we go. Let's remember the buttons. There's a barrel there. Can I? Oh, I can't walk across there. Okay. Well, that's just death. <laughs> Oops. Got to sort of do a platforming. Oh Jesus! Okay. Um. Yeah, I know. Last life. I think we'll leave that for now, maybe. We'll go for it one more time. Ah! Oh. Yeah, and a lot of them are just one-hit deaths, so this one's fairly forgiving. We'll go this way this time. Shall we? Oh, he grabs me. Kills me as well. Damn. Alright, so I've got to bait him out, I think. Let's try going this way instead. Oh, this is where the key was. Or the Denzel's elevator. Okay. Okay, I guess I'm stuck here. Gotta go that way. I'm about to do nothing. I hope that would do anything. Nah. Is he gonna... Yeah, I see what's gonna happen here. Yeah, okay. I get ya. I guess I can't drop an item there, okay. Yeah, that doesn't look, um... particularly like a good idea. Oh, there's two keys. Key for the ground elevator as well. I'm guessing that's what this is? So I can go down. So we can get back up now. Oh, maybe I need to repair the ladder somehow, I don't know. Oh Jesus, the fucking bird killed me. Or whatever that is. I wonder if... Ah. Let's go back. Can I lure him out with some wood? Alright, the Kiraki gold coins. Okay, I guess I have to... Go across that river then. Yeah, there we go. What's this? Oh! Look. I suck at slide puzzles. Hmm. 
That was probably a very simple solution to this, and I'm just dumb, but... Oh, jeez, that's the music. Fuck. Do I have to do it? Or is that it? I guess I only have one chance of doing it. Of course you can go up here. Because of course you can, because it's dizzy. So why wouldn't we have to go up there? Alright. Can I? Nah. I mean, probably could, but I'd rather not risk it. Let's just keep going up this way. We have an umbrella. Probably useful. I'll leave the... I'll keep the bag gold coins. Let's drop the wood for now. And let's... Those items will stay there, I think, so... Jump over him. That didn't work. Um, there's a map. Let's probably give him the gold coins, shall we? There we go. It's a guillotine. Why is it just a guillotine constantly going off? That's a crowbar. I'm gonna go uh, fucking Freeman on this one. Just sort of roaming around rather aimlessly, but hey. Ants can hurt Dizzy. It's fucking. Yeah, I'm just sort of. <laughs> you do kind of roam around aimlessly in the hope that something will give you a clue as to where you're going. All the items in the game will do something at some point, it's just. determining exactly when. Ah. Oh shit, my control's reversed. Okay, it doesn't hurt. Oh, nope, now they're reversed back to normal. Oh my god. Backwards dizzy. Yeah, please, hit me again. Oh, hello. What if you use the crowbar? <laughs> nah. Sometimes a bit of a luck of the draw with dizzy. When you can and how you can use items. Ah. Oh, that's another one of these. Great. Gave me magic powers or something. Now there's oh there's two of me. Oh an extra life. Oh okay, I think I get what's I think it's an extra life, I think. Yeah, good. Just a slow solve a slide puzzle for extra lives. Thank you. 
Hi there. Do you want a crowbar? Oh, hello. Different ways. There's a shovel up there. No idea what that could be for. You do, in this game, you will find a lot of items, which is just for random fucking purposes. <laughs> like, who knows? And you might need it, like, years later in the game. Hmm. The game will like to roll. What's it random? Shit. Alright, well. I'm enjoying the game. <laughs> For the sake of the other games we have to get to in this episode. I will stop here. <laughs> because I think if I kept going, I would go on forever. It's pretty fun. Um, it's definitely more lenient than the other Dizzy games, and I think that's probably better for it. Um, should probably just play the Mega Drive version, though. Unless you really want to play this version. Um, Mega Drive version looks fine from the side of screen. I have no idea what the differences are, if, you know, if they're slightly different games or completely different games, who knows, but they've got the same title, so... But that means nothing in terms of the Dizzy series, because it's, like, different games, it's different titles of the exact same thing, and then there's some games with the exact same titles, which are completely different things. Who knows? But yeah, that was fantastic to see. I'd say check it out. It was pretty good. If you, if you Especially if you like the series, check it out. Um, even if you don't, it, I'd say it's a good first, first step foray into the, uh, the franchise. There's a lot of them, so I wouldn't bother trying to play all the DC games, because there are too many for too many different platforms that, you know, you're never going to get to all of them. Alright, next up is Zool, Ninja of the Nth Dimension, from Gremlin Graphics. In 1993. This is a port, actually, this is the theme of this episode, of the Amiga game. Did I even mention that? This is the theme, Amiga ports. For some reason, with a Chupa Chup, Chopper Chups? Chopper Chups? I don't know, fuck knows. Chupa Chups? I don't know, fuck knows. They're lollies, I don't know. Fucking, um, yeah. This was created for the Amiga in 1992 and then ported to well, everything else really. The Acorn Archimedes, the Atari ST, the PC, the SNES, the Mega Drive, and this is the 8-bit version. Um, this is a mascot platformer, sort of in response. I can read you the story. Should I read you the story? What options have we got first? Music on? Yeah, that's fine. While investigating a disturbance in the nth dimension, as you do, this one is caught in a vortex and crashes a ship in a strange land. A land full of super chops, lollipops, I guess. Um, and learns that the evil Cool has conquered a number of worlds, including the world he has found. Oh no, and he has three of these worlds from Cruel's grip in order to make it back home. Pair yourself, thanks. <laughs> For Zool. I don't know what Zool is. I'm not sure what he's meant to be, just some sort of creature. Alright, so I jump with this button, because of course I do. I can pick up that. Oh, I can do a spin now. Oh, and I've got Z. Oh, okay. I can climb up walls. Oh, that was invincibility. I'm glad. Why is there a spinning arrow in the corner? Are those the M? Oh. I'm collecting Zs. Oh, oh, that was an enemy. Obviously, this game is meant for 16-bit platforms, really. Um, 
So this is a sort of downsized. It's so twitchy. Um, it's like go. There's like no. Whoa. Hello. Okay. I want to land on this platform, but it's like it's not slippery. It's just really sensitive. It's f yeah. Apart from that, it's okay. I just want some cool stuff. All right. Looking like Super Mario Bros. Three or something with all the. Okay. Whoa, hello. Angry bee. Angry bee. Angry bee. Angry bee. Okay, are we can climb walls if that makes sense. I just tried to press down like I was playing Sonic. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Okay. Oh, you all. Okay. The game is kind of too fast for its own good. I do think this would work. 57% completed. Wow. How specific. I do think this would work better on a, uh, well, on the Mega Drive, or especially on the Amiga. Because, I don't know, you've probably got more screen room. Again, I did it. Again. But, even then, oh my god, it's sort of... I don't know how to describe it, but it's sort of... It is slippery, though, as well, but it isn't. Like, oh. like, the controls are scary. How twitchy they are. It's like, I'm afraid to tap the button. I have absolutely no idea if this is a good port of the game, because I've never played the original. Oh, you can jump on enemies as well, that helps greatly. Okay, I think I'm starting to get a little bit of the hang of it now. Oh, the bomb just killed everything. How do I get up there? Pause button. Just try to see what else I can do. That's about it. It's gonna go this way. Keep getting that. There we go. Whoa. Okay, never mind. I'm not getting the hang of it at all. I think the issue is you need more screen real estate. The game clearly isn't designed around this resolution. <laughs> Shit. Oh, there's a time limit as well. Like, where am I going? I got 97% way through. Jesus, that bee was fucking after me. Yeah. How do I get up there? Oh! Okay. Zero lives remaining. 97% completed. Okay. Oh. I think I just continued. Prepare myself. I already have. Apparently there's a sliding attack. I guess that's, a, I guess that's an attack. So, uh, the objective is to collect 99 items. Okay, so you collect 99 items in the stage, and then the goal reveals itself. Cool, okay. Okay. 
I get you now, I get you now. I have to read the instructions. <laughs> I don't think this game likes me very much. Okay, there was something at least. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, oh, I see that's how they did the transparency. So if I disappear for a sec here... Or am I just... Oh, okay, I guess it was not. Okay, not much. Just gonna... Yep, hope. Nope. Hope. Hope. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <clears throat> Shit. Can I climb the the candy cane? No, that's just there for decorative effect. Okay. There's just spikes everywhere. Bosses or anything, I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Get ready, Area 1 3. Okay. Look how radical he is. What's this? <gasps> Secret area. The game's too fast. <laughs> For its own good. from just being a bit a little bit less zoomed out a bit more well a bit more zoomed out sorry and a little bit less uh, fast
Like I say, this probably be better if it was on, like, the Mega Drive. Which it is, and it's on everything else, but... Oh, the fucking bees, man. There we go. Fuck off, bee. <laughs> Jesus, that bee is a menace. Alright, it's don't tell me it's an area one four. Is this the boss, though? Is there a boss? There's a boss. Okay. Of course it's a bee. What do you do? Oh, Christ. Got him. I like that spin move. That's pretty cool. Alright. That wasn't too bad. Alright, next world is the music world, apparently. There's only five worlds, but uh, we'll take out area two of the music world first and see what the music's like, actually. Okay, yeah, this is a fever dream. Um, I mean, attacked by violins. And being propelled by music. I'm collecting CDs and tapes. Because Zool is just that rad. Oh, okay. What are you? What are you? What are you? Oh, I see. Okay, there's a mechanic there. Nope. No, no. No, I don't know what you are. I don't know what you are. I don't like you. Right. <laughs> there we go. I keep you can hit enemies on their heads. Oh, there's records as well. There's, there's notes that are attacking me. Oh god. There's like little MP3 player remote things. Oh Jesus. Even though MP3 players wasn't been a thing yet. You know what I mean. Like Discman Walkman things. Oh shit. This is the easier game. Oh, there's a lot more climbing. He's, this guy's gonna be like an alien or something. He's got like weird alien ears and he's green and shit. Oh shit. No, you bastard. There we go, gone. Oh, you're on a record player. Oh, see, record player, you go back to the side. I expect you to sort of like um, swing me back around again, but all oh, the knobs going as well. Oh, shit. Oh, give me that. Give me that heart. Yep. <laughs> Kill the violin. Hit the bomb. Because that actually counts as an item. Hey, right, let's go. No, don't you ruin it for me. Up we go. Oh, oh, oh boy, okay. There we go. Okay, I think, uh... Have we played enough of Zool? I don't know, you out of Zool. The Ninja of the Empty Dimension. I think I'm done with Zool for now. Tempted to keep playing. Because... <laughs> Crusty as some of the controls are, and how, like, you know, yeah, it's crusty, but like, um, it's still kind of fun, so, you know, I'd say again, maybe not, maybe check out, like, the Mega Drive version, or especially the Amiga version, as opposed to this version, 
Unless you want an easier experience, because apparently this is the easier version, so... Sure. On to the next one. Well, up next we've got Shadow of the Beast from Tech Magic. Originally from Reflections Directive and Psychonosis. This is the Master System version. Again, there was also a Mega Drive version, and this is yet another... Amiga port. Naturally. So this was a landmark title for the Amiga back in the day. Very impressive. Again, released on pretty much everything. From the Amiga, to the Amstrad, to the ZX Spectrum, to the Atari Bloody Lynx, to the, the FM Towns, even. Looks a bit better than this. <laughs> so we're controlling the Beast Messenger. Which transformed. Now this originally were a human child and were kidnapped at a young age by mages who served the Beast Lord. Um. So now we're gonna re take revenge and yeah, this seems pretty impressive for the Master System. Just looking at it. But, uh, yeah, the Amiga version was very impressive at the time. Uh, and obviously this Master System version is even more scaled back compared to the Mega Drive version, which is scaled back in itself. And there's no cutscenes or anything like that, but there are some... There is still some stories, so... By Theta Waits. Okay. Let's give it a go. Again, never played Shadow of the Beast before, so probably not the best first impression, but let's give it a go. So I can punch and select an object, which this game added this inventory system. Let's hit to the left here. I believe the game is quite short. And you press up to jump. It's not great. Oh. I'm not sure how to predict what's coming, you know? Like, how do you predict a rock coming at you like that? I tried to jump over it, but you hold... Yeah, you press jump to jump, so that's not great. Let's go home. I'll go home. I guess I can't go home. Oh, did rock. Can I punch the rocks? I can. I've got a key. Can I go into my can I go into my house now? The, the key turns. With much effort the door opens for a villa because he wouldn't let a lead into darkness to start to proceed. I have a feeling this is going to be a game that I've... I'm going to watch, want to watch someone else play, rather than play myself. Who knows what they're doing, I died. Because, um, you got some very big sprites trying to mess with other big sprites, and it doesn't work as well as you'd hoped. <laughs> I mean, the game looks pretty good for the last system, but... I feel like the Amiga version is probably better. But it's, um... I don't know. I think you can get used to it. But there's a lot of... Remember where these enemies are, and remember what's coming next, and... Remember there's a fireball there, and... Grab whatever that is, and... Don't die to whatever that is. Can I punch this? Almost had him. 
You've really got to get the first hit in, otherwise you are just doomed. Oh. Mm. At least there's more potions and stuff. There are some apparently mission critical light, like quest critical items. Really had to bounce back and hit me. I don't like this game. <laughs> prepare to battle Death Skeleton. What do you mean, prepare to battle Death Skeleton? What the fuck? The fuck are you? Right. No, I'm dead. I've failed. The power of the Beast Lords is too great. A bazooka like weapon can be found later on. There's a short flying session. <sighs> apparently, there's a fixed list of objectives, apparently. I. I have no idea what I'm doing with this game. There are some comparisons between a few different versions, but. It got good reviews at the time. Well, mostly. <laughs> Master System 1 got very good reviews. Uh, I don't know if we're seeing the same game here. Oh! I thought that was a tree! No, it's an enemy! Do that, I think. And hope, like Christ. What is that? Please, use. I feel better, thank you. I don't know what that does. So I killed him still, but... Okay. I like the design of everything. But man, it's so fast. You just cannot react. And you, when you, your duck is useless because you just. What does that do? Nothing happens. Okay, cool. What does that do? You feel ill? Cool. What does that do? I feel weak. Great! Alright, well, um... To be honest... Fuck it, I'll give it one more go. That's, um... I'm gonna say this is probably... There are probably much better... This is probably one of the worst versions that isn't the... ZX Spectrum version. My god, the ZX Spectrum version is probably awful. Because it's a 1991 ZX I can punch the rocks, apparently. At least we're a bit slower down here. Just to take damage from the fire, though, do you? Oh, yeah, of course you do. Ah, of course. Oh yeah, I have to go fight the death skeleton. Um, how do I fight you? Not like that. <laughs> how do I fight the death skeleton? What the fuck? <laughs> fuck is this game? Uh, well, I know what it is, but like, you know what I mean? Like, how the hell do you, are you meant to beat this without... It's just pure... sort of bewilderment and trial and error. It sounds very good for a Master System game, I'll give it that. So there's a lot of items. And the items can only be used once, and if you use them in the wrong place, that is it. The game will become unfinishable. There's a red potion, which is good. Green potion is really good. 
orange potion is jumping, and there's only one in the entire game. White potion is invincibility, blue potion is basically kills you. Turquoise potion will also kill you. Magenta potion will reverse your controls. Purple potion will make you jump twice as high. Again, only one that exists. A clear potion doesn't do anything. A yellow potion uh, will kill you. Literally, just kill you. A white round, there's different keys. There's a heart. What was that little coin I found? There's a green orb, and it has no use. Great. What was the little light to me? The green thing. I don't know what that is. Yeah, whatever. So I'm not meant to fight death out of the death skeleton yet. So you have to get the orb. And to shoot eight fireballs with the orb. You have to know that you have to get the orb. So I was dead anyway. Okay, well that was Shadow of the Beast. I don't think I'll ever be able to get into it, to be honest. It's just too trial and error for me. But I'm sure if you can... Play the Mega Drive version, or the Amiga version, or... Not this one. <laughs> this would be the, the summary of the episode, really, just sort of... These versions exist. They're kind of impressive. Don't play them. <laughs> On to the next game. Well, hopefully this should be a little bit calmer. This is Lemmings. From... Rogue Software. Published by Sega. <laughs> There's Lemmings. There he is. It was originally by DMA Design. Yeah, the Mega Drive people. No, uh, Mega Drive people? Grand Theft Auto people. What's fun? I'm published by Psychonosis. And again, uh, it's an Amiga port. And uh, this has been ported to literally everything. <laughs> oh, fun, tricky, taxing, or mayhem. Let's just do fun for now. That's the difficulty. But yeah. Hopefully this game works quite well. I have played Lemmings before. I've played lots of different le versions of Lemmings before. I'm not great at it, but not awful. So let's let's give it a go. Just dig. Number of Lemmings, 10. 10% to be saved. Release rate, 50. Okay. So it's the basic level. So basically we have to select our Dicky Boys. Oh yeah, it's just Lemmings. Oh no, there's only... Ten of them, anyway. Easy. Camp four. Cool. Only floaters can survive this. Seeing as a big drop, and I have to um click all of them. So can I click one up here? Oh, yeah, I okay. can. There we go. Nothing too puzzly yet, just teaching you the basics uh, of the game. That is a nuke button. Tailor made for s Blockers? What's this? They are blockers. No, no, no. Oh. Okay, not the best, but whatever. So obviously there will be some sacrifices. I don't know if you can unwalk them. I think that's it. I think you just. Uh... There we go. <laughs> there we go. Good enough. Now use miners and climbers. Okay. So we've got one miner. <laughs> it's 
fairly relaxing so far, but it can get very, uh... Very stressful later on, trying to manage them. All the different lemmings. It's this time, okay. We going. Oh shit! Misplimed it. You got you got time the bashes pretty well. Start bashing for everything. So they should walk up that, and I should be able to get them to bash through this bit here, just to save myself for basher and a little bit of time. There we go. Alright. The task of blockers and bombers. I say three, two, one. <clears throat> Not quite right here. Perfect. Blockers, and what's your bother about? Let's just walk. Obviously, you do lose some when you bomb them up like that, but you know. So you need is builders will help you here. Is the oh boy, okay. Builders are very interesting. Yeah, there we go, right. Are they okay to walk on that? You just pop one from here. Now then we will lose some, unfortunately. Very odd. Alright. There's a few ones down there but a bit dead, but hey, that's fine. They might be able to dig themselves out. Oh my god, now they're going to have to go all the way back and forwards. And I think for the first time in this episode, I think I can probably say this is a pretty good version of Lemmings. It's functional. It's not as fancy or, you know, not as pretty as the other versions. And if you can, I'd say, you know, play one of the other many, many versions that isn't the Spectrum version. Uh, you know. Hey, if you want to check this one out, it's pretty good. Not as complicated as it looks. Yeah, it's like a blocker. Oh, you have this massive level that... It's just nothing, you just... Whoops. Let's keep going. Let's just keep going. As long as you try your best. Right, so you can preview the level as well. So they come from here. So a... Oh Christ, okay. For one. Let's block them in here. Strong together. I assume these things will kill me. Okay, that should be okay now. Yep. 
Can I not? Yeah, no, your blockers are stuck. Whoops, bloom. I need 90%, I got 93. Smile if you love Linux. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, that, that's, uh, he's fucked. I love to see the massive stream of them just piling out. It's cool. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, a game like this as simple as this works very well. Even on a basic console like this. Keep your hair on, Mr. Lemon. Alright. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So what does that do? I guess I'll just try and dig through it. I can't. Can I climb up it, at least? I can climb up it. He dies. Okay, cool. Hmm. I'm blowing it up. What? <laughs> yeah, try harder. We'll give it one more go. Alright, well, I'll wait. Okay, what do you saved anyway? I just need to send another one up here. And then he can dig through, hopefully. Oh, he's climbing. Um. Let me try and save him. Oh, I guess he's both a climber and a thing. He's a climber and he's a thing. Okay, so you can overlap. Alright. Alright. Patience. Oh boy. Um. Christ. Okay. Let me just... No, why did you... Oh, whatever. Did you not dig through there? I guess you can't dig through that. Try and mine for it. Okay, cool. So we can mine for it. Turn you into anything, can I? Anything other than a blower upper? Nope, okay. Okay, <laughs> there he goes. Here or something.
I think we'll do one more level. Origins and Lemmings, sure. Because otherwise, like I say, we will be here forever playing Lemmings because Lemmings is great. Doesn't matter how you, doesn't matter how you play it. Lemmings is great. So I was just looking at the different versions of uh, Lemmings. Let me look at them. And there are some cool little versions. Right. Um. So can I? Let's see if I, let's try and mine through that. Makes more, more sense. Hopefully, just sort of bumps into it. Now I've got a. Ooh. Okay, that's a little interesting. of uh, lemmings. Yeah, they're okay, though. <laughs> Nine step. Good enough. All right. Well, that was lemmings. Pretty little fun. Pretty fun little puzzle game. On to the next one. So next up is Fire and Ice. That is our character, Call Coyote, apparently. It was created by Craft Gold and published by Tectoy in Brazil. It was only released in Brazil, this version. Originally it was by I don't know who originally made it, but it was originally on the Amiga. And then originally they were going to release it in Europe in 1994 by Version Games, as you saw. That was cancelled. And this was... This version was released in 1995, apparently. But also 1996. Possibly. Who knows? But you can see, yes, it is Version Games. There's also uh, a Mega Drive version that was scrapped. And a Game Gear version, which was also scrapped in 1994. Apparently this game reviewed well, so let's, let's take a look. Alright, so got this. Oh Jesus, he's slippery, okay. So I throw snowballs. Oh, I can jump. Why does the camera whiplash like no one's business? Jesus. Look at that camera. Oh, I can see why they didn't really release this. Apparently it's used to slowing master system sales, but um, that just beats the fact that this is... Oh, I'm seeing a lot of ice. Not a lot of fire so far. And also a camera that decides to flail around. Jesus. That ass uh. It's a bird. Oh, I've got cannonballs now. Oh no, you cannot make me do precise platforming with this. These controls. Look at them. And this camera. I blink every time I throw a snowball. It's a key. I think it's a key. Oh, 
That's quick. Okay. I'm guessing that's the objective here. Oh! Right. I'm loving this 10 second music loop right now. Oh, it's a button. I see. I wasn't sure it was actually activating those platforms, but it was a button. What is that? What's well, gone now? Whatever it was. <sighs> this, this is performing, um... Interesting. Oh, you! I jumped into a thing. Missing a bit of the key. Fuck. That'll be it. Last bit of the key. Not grey, is it? That's it. Do I start from the first level? Of course, of course I do. Doesn't help the projectile you have is so inaccurate that. <laughs> Can't fucking hit nothing. You're willing to having a cannonball, but you can't actually hit anyone with it, that's the point. So snowball is actually better. Because you can actually hit shit with it. Man is currently invincible to my fucking... Snowballs, what the fuck? I bet it was extra health, I don't know. Yeah, I don't trust this game. Oh. See if you could just jump on enemies, it'd be okay. But you just you can't fucking... To be honest, with these imprecise controls, you really should be able to, you know? Now, I know I'm just making excuses for why I'm bad at the video game, but you know what I mean? I'm meant to get that. Like that, apparently. Okay. Fucking jump over the badger. Jump over the guy who can't be hit. Oh, you. Enemies that are on the same screen as you. And there's... Fuck you. Is that it? Nope. Well, we'll try not to die. Let's try and actually see them. No, oh, well, fuck it. I know I've only played it for like 10 minutes. Well, you're a shit. This game must sucks. Oh, I had to enter my initials. RPM. Too much fucking RPM. That's what this is. I got a high score. 
Or one of them. Well, there you go, that was... Whatever that was. Coyote, man. He's the cool coyote. Why did this get... 80 from... S Sega Power? 82 from Sega Power. What are they on? Yeah, let's, see if, let's read the review quickly. Let's, have a little, let's see what they say. Oh god, here we go. All coyotes are the latest in a long line of pathetically named Hatsute heroes like Bubsy, Sonic, Taz, and Ronald McDonald. Mr. Coyote has to romp through various worlds, each of which is divided into three increasingly tough levels. Like the first couple of worlds break you in gently. Moving on. And the final game of today is going to be James Bond 2. Codename Robocop. From US Gold, Tier Text Limited, Millennium Interactive, Vector Dean, all of that shit, I don't know. You can see it going along the bottom in that weirdly smooth scroller. <laughs> What's the story? Well, of course, it's going to be Robocod. It is a Robocod? Or is a. Oh, yeah, it's a Robocod. Is this a parody of the Robocop theme? <laughs> I think it is. Jim Bond 2. So there is a Mega Drive version of this as well, but this is obviously the Master System version. Is this released... Donkey years ago. Uh... 993, apparently. Yeah. There we go. So game, apparently the gameplay differs heavily from the original, being the Amiga version. I know that's the first one on the... Or when I say the original one, does it mean the Amiga version, or does it mean the first game? I don't know, we'll find out. Alright. So we can jump. And yeah, we... At fucking hell, we just keep going. Okay. We can also shrink. That is wacky. Okay. <laughs> I wish I could... Okay. Move while I stretched up a little bit, but... Okay. We'll just kick all of these random items. Guess we can't get the hammer, because we've been... Oh! Okay, so we can grab onto that. We could just keep going up. And that building... I think we're going forever. And so we go right in the middle here. Nothing. But we can just keep going up. And yep, it will just go on forever. That is actually, uh... That's pretty clever tech. Oh, okay. There's giant shoes. Oh. I guess that was it. I guess that was a... Oh, whoa. Okay, you're floaty. Well, when did those get here? Gotta get all the items. Gotta get all the score. Look at that. That was 50k, that was. I have no relation to what these actual scores mean, but fuck it, let's go. Let's try not to head directly for the goal this time. There's a limit in this room, at least. So can I... Do that? Nope. What 
to you. Oh, hi there. Oh, it moves. I think. The background is sort of... funky. It's, it's almost parallaxy. Give me my points. This guy is so fucking goofy. Look at him. Okay, you, you got... Oh, okay, you can kill enemies at least. Oh. <laughs> fucking causes a fucking tsunami when he lands down, or an earthquake, or whatever. Probably both. Really help me get anywhere apart from over here. I should jump over this side instead. There we go. There's a snake. What are these bears? Falling down here. Um, I got glue. How do I get out of here now? Oh, I see. I get you now. Somewhere there is the end. There is an end to all of this. How do I get in there? Let me just... Yeah, you got the snake, okay. Where'd you... Just collect random objects. Yes, yes. Exit. Wait, what? Oh no, there's more. Okay. Shit. I see. I've got two lives left. I think. Teeth. Okay. This is this is a trip. Straight up. Let me just... The hit detection seems pretty generous, which I'm glad about, because otherwise I'd be pretty dead. It's cannonballs, god. Oh no. Oh, 
Oh, you... I'm doing too well, am I? Ah. Oh, okay. I guess I'll continue from here. <laughs> you can't look up either way. See, look. It's right there now. Well, keep going. Exit. <laughs> I don't even know what that was, but okay, let's keep going. He seems excited about it. Oh, this is a, this is a boss. I think it's a boss. What do I do with you? I don't know. Not that. Not that. Not that either. What? I've no idea what I'm meant to do here. failed. Oh shit. Oh well, you yeah. know. Robogod's dead. Never mind. That was Jim Pod 2. Codename Robogod. And that concludes day 7 of the Sega Xmas. And our Amiga Mega, mega, mega sports special. A mega sports special. <laughs> um, I think the summary for this episode, and I think I've been saying it this entire time. I'm sorry if it's like a broken record, but just play the Amiga versions. <laughs> Let's see what the reviews were actually very quickly, very quick before we end the episode. I'm very interested to see what them. It reviewed pretty well, and to be fair, it's it's not a bad game. I'm just. I just had my fill. <laughs> let's see what's um this was Sega Which one? Sega Power? Let's do Sega Power again, shall we? This is October nineteen ninety three. So a little later than the last or earlier than the last one, sorry. Or was it later? I can't remember now. It was earlier. There we go. James This was twenty pa no sorry, twenty nine ninety nine, so thirty quid at the time. Nineteen ninety three. Apparently it's gonna take you two weeks to complete this one. There's lots of levels. It seems... Wacky. Um... They give it an 83%, which... I think that's a, I think that's a much fairer score for this than it was for Fire and Ice, so, you know. They, re they reviewed the Lucky Dime Capers 95%, which is... It's very high, but you've got to kind of put these review scores into context a little bit. I give this one a 9 in graphics, a 6 in sound, which is fair enough. Apparently it's a bit out of date. I don't know. That was... Day 7, thanks for watching. <laughs> and I'll see you in another video. Take care.